just before this video starts, I want to say that this video is a re-upload. This video was originally uploaded on March 15th, 2023, but because I talked about stuff that wasn't released at the time, it got copyright struck in. But seeing as it's been a long time since version 12.2 dropped, I think it's fair to release this video again. If it somehow ends up getting copyright struck in again, then, uh, oh well. So, uh, enjoy this old new update analysis video, I guess. On March 13th, version 12.2 dropped, and this is quite a big update, and I want to talk about everything that was added in this version. Since we have loads to cover, all I ask is if you enjoy this, give it a like and sub to the channel if you haven't already. The first thing I want to talk about is the new units added. We have a new dark hero who has a 50% chance to knock back angel and aliens in their first form and is immune to weaken. In their second form, they knock back zombies and aliens with an immunity to freeze. They sport a multi-hit attack and are a single target unit. They have a cost of 3150, which is rather cheap for an uber rare, and they have a recharge of 77.8 seconds. They have 30 speed, making them just as fast as Lion Cat, have a range of 250, and have a singular knockback. Despite having a low attack stat, this is made up by an extremely good DPS, as well as having a good amount of HP. Our next unit is an Easter variant of Summoner Sataru. Instead of knocking back Aku and being surge immune, he now slows traitless enemies with wave immunity. Interestingly, the Easter Sataru has a slightly higher base attack and health. However, since they are a seasonal uber, everything else remains the same, such as their cooldown, cost, speed, and range. So let's move on. We have a new egg unit that you can get from Empress's Excavation 4, which I'll cover later on. In order to hatch the egg, you will need 8 purple stones, 9 red stones, 10 blue stones, 11 green stones, and 12 yellow stones. Once the egg hatches, you are gifted with this unit. The new egg unit has 27,000 health at level 50 with 29,000 damage. They deal massive damage against traitless enemies, meaning they deal 89,100 damage at level 50, enough to one-shot a 150% boar junior. They are also immune to freeze and wave. Their attack frequency is 7.3 seconds with a TBA of 6.2 seconds. They have a cost of 960 and have a range of 300 with an LD of 250 to 450. They have 15 speed, making them comparable to Slime Cat. They also have 3 knockbacks. They have a DPS of 4031 and against Traitless, this goes to 12093 DPS. Lastly is a few new collaboration units for the Shin Japan Heroes Universe collab. I'm gonna rapid fire through these because I want to talk about some of the new, more juicy stuff. One thing all these units have in common is that they deal single target damage with a massive damage and resistance buff against a certain trait. First up is Kamen Rider who deals massive damage and is resistant against red enemies. At level 50 against red enemies, they deal 42,000 damage and have 39,000 HP with a range of 300 and an LD of 150 to 400. Next up is Shin Godzilla who targets floating. They deal 51.8k damage against floating enemies and have 43,000 health against them. They have 310 range and no LD. Then we have Ava Unit 01, who targets angels. Against them, they have 42,000 health and deal 56,000 damage, and they have a standing range of 270. Lastly is Ultraman, who targets black enemies. At level 50, they have 33,000 health and deal 30,000 damage against black enemies, with 325 range. Now that we have gone through these units, let's talk about the new true forms. First up, and probably the most hype of the new true forms, is High Lord Babel receiving a true form. This confirms now that we will be getting more legend rares with true forms. Babel gains a 20% buff to their HP, Colossus Slayer, an immunity and knockback, and toxic immunity. This means now at level 50, they have 3.4 million health against red and floating enemies, and specifically against red and floating Colossus enemies, they have 4.8 million health. Against other Colossus enemies, they have 694,285 health. In order to true form Babel, it will require 3 million experience, which is going to be the standard for true forming legend rares, 5 green cap fruit, 5 red cat fruit, 1 red behemoth gem, and 1 green behemoth gem. Next up is Summoner Sataru getting a true form. He gains an extra 30% chance to pierce shields, meaning he now has a 50% chance to pierce shields. He also gains an 11% boost to his health and has a 100% chance to knock back Aku enemies. In order to true form Sataru, you will need 1 epic seed and 3 Aku fruit. An advent unit gains a true form in this update, this being Rugby Cat. He gains a 25% damage boost along with Aku targeting and surge immunity. Their damage against black enemies is now 12,393 and against Aku, he deals 10,327 damage. For his health, he has 40,500 health against black enemies and has 32,400 health against Aku enemies. In order to get this true form, you need to beat the new Wan Wan Revenge stage, which I'll cover later. 
For our final true form, we now have Eggy Cat's true form, who is very interesting in the fact that this is the first unit in a long while where you get their true form from an awakening stage. The only thing that changes about them is that they now have a 100% chance to slow angel enemies. Now we have 3 units that gain talents. First I'll cover Twin Stars, as they have the least interesting ones. Twin Stars gains Curse Muty, a 30% chance to slow for 0.8 seconds to 2 seconds, and they also have Wave Resist Towns. Their health at level 50 can now go to 71,280, and their damage to 54,432, with each hit dealing 18,144 damage. This goes to 72,576 per hit against Black and Alien enemies for a total of 217,728 damage. Lil Eraser also gains talents, and they're very interesting. They gain Toxic Resist, meaning they can take up to 70% less damage from toxic damage. They also have a 10% chance to dodge zombie attacks that last from 0.8 seconds to 2 seconds. They also, more interestingly, gain Soul Strike, adding Little Eraser to the elusive Soul Strike Haver Club. They also gain a standard attack and HP talent. Now I want to state now that the numbers I use here will be at level 110, and I will explain more about that later, but for now, just keep that in mind. At level 110 with max attack talents, they deal 180 damage, but more importantly, they have 25,632 health. This is huge, because now they have more health than Manic Eraser. Granted, the difference is really small, like a difference of 87 HP, but this means now that out of the three major Eraser units, Manic Eraser is the Eraser with the lowest amount of health, with regular 110 Eraser having 1,068 more HP than Lil Eraser. Last is Lil King Dragon, who also gains an interesting set of talents. They gain Survive Talents that start at 28% and caps out at 100%. They also gain Surge Immunity, meaning we have a new reliable unit for Cappy Jr. But what's most interesting is their Mini Wave Talent. It starts at a 4% activation rate and then goes up to 40%. The level of the wave is a level 4 Mini Wave. The range allows Low King Dragon to pierce 532.5 range outside of their usual 400 range. While the damage is small, it is easy to start stacking Low King Dragons and like with all things stacking, it adds up quickly. Just like with Lil Eraser, I'm going to be using their level 110 stats to discuss their HP and attack talents. Before I do, I need to state that Lil King Dragon has the exact same HP and attack as a regular King Dragon of the same level. Because of this, Lil King Dragon becomes straight up better than regular Dragon. On level 110 with max HP and attack talents, Lil King Dragon can now deal 21,360 damage and has 48,060 HP. Mini waves also add an additional 4,272 damage for a total of 25,632 damage. We also have two new super talents. Masamune gains only one new super talent, a level 5 mini wave talent that starts out at 10% and caps out 100% activation. More interestingly is Ice Cat who gains a strength talent, boosting her damage from 10 to 100% extra damage depending on the level of the talent when she's below 66% HP. This makes her effective max strength damage at level 60 with max talents 138,240. She also gains dodge talents. She has a 40% chance to dodge for 0.2 seconds to 2 seconds. She also gains metal targeting, which is one of the super talents ever. Also, Ice Cat doesn't get an extra talent orb slot, but Masamune does. We also have one new cat combo with Satoru's true form, Dark Cat, Jamira Cat, and the Flying Cat. This is a slow, large combo. Next to cover are the new enemies. We now have an Aku Celeboodle. He deals 8,000 damage and has 9,500 HP with a range of 150. They're a single target enemy and spawn a death surge that lasts for 0.67 seconds between 200 to 800 range. Right now, however, they don't appear at any stage of the game. Next is a new Colossus enemy being based on the Cerberus kids. They have 430 range and deal 15,000 damage across 3 attacks. They have 800,000 health and have a 30% chance to freeze units for a second and a 30% chance to spawn a surge that lasts for 0.67 seconds between 250 to 950 range. We also have a Lil White Cyclone, similar to Lil Zyclone and Mesmo Cosmos Cyclone. They have 444,444 HP and deal 20,000 damage with a DPS of 150,000. They're a single target enemy and have 100 range. As mentioned earlier, we also have Eggy Awakens, meaning we have an enemy counterpart. Awakened Eggy has 1.1 million health and deals 11,000 damage. They have a range of 200 with an Omni Strike range of minus 300 to 300 range. This means they have a piercing range of 100. They also have a 100% chance to slow units for 4 seconds. Lastly is a new Red Behemoth Slepnir who has 1.6 million health, deals 8,000 damage with 16,000 DPS, and has a standing range of 400. They have a 15% chance to freeze units for 1.67 seconds and have a 100% chance to spawn a level 4 mini wave. They're also immune to slow and surge attacks. 
Alright, new stages, but before we get into the big meat, we have to cover the new UL stars. Bizarre, the Pirate King and Between Truth and Lies have two stars now, and two stars are at 1.2 times magnification. Space-time distortion and intimate disaster have three stars now, and the three-star buff is 1.5 times magnification. Theater of Fear and Diver City are also now available with four-star difficulty. Alright, Zero Legend Subchapter 2 starts with a big bang, literally because the Cat God is in this level with a 150% magnification. Cat God spawns after 14.2 seconds after starting the stage. The other enemies featured here include Gabriel, Aku Doge, Mr. Angel, Angelic Gori, Ms. Devil, Great Angel Chibinel, and Aku Gori. The next stage isn't anything too crazy with 2 Teacher Bears, 20 Wild Doges, and 5 Doge Darks. On base hit, there is one extra Wild Doge, one Ursa Major, one Cadaver Bear, one Teacher Bear, one Fallen Bear, and Reynard. Then the next stage has 18 Croxos, 10 Zrakos, 3 Lemurs, 5 Zalos, 5 Ariants, 2 Nemoy Boars, and 1 Alpaki. Alright, now we get back to some of the crazy stuff. We have 10 Sorrels, Infinite Relic Doges, and 2 Hanyuan Wands. On base hit, we have 2 additional Hanyuan Wands, an Autumn, and a White Cyclone at 200% magnification. I think someone who used Battle Cat's ultimate was hired by Ponos. Returning to some normal C is the next stage with infinite those guys, 5 metal hippos, 20 metal doges, 8 wild doges, and Scizorex serving as the boss. The final stage for the Zero Legend subchapter gives us a new enemy, a miniature white cyclone. This enemy is at 200% magnification, 3 spawn total on this level. There's also 20 little doges, 10 JJ jackrabbits, 2 ginger snatches, infinite squirrels, and Hanya serving as the boss. Now we can expect to see not only cyclones, but advent enemies in the regular subchapter storyline. Now we have Empress's Excavation 4 with the first stage consisting of two relic doges, infinite pigeons, two wild doges, two sorrels, and a cappy. On base hit, there is an additional three wild doges, ten relic doges, six sorrels, one cappy, and a new red behemoth that's based on Slepnir. The next stage features four Aryans, 14 Doge Darks, one Red Energy, seven Gory Blacks, four Wild Doges, an infinite amount of Zrakos, two Xerzeals, and the Behemoth Slepnir. Stage three has nine Sinner Snatches, two Wild Doges, three Moths, and one Condemned Ping. On base hit, it spawns Behemoth Slepnir, Cumulus Gallus, infinite Sinner Snatches, four Wild Doges, two Condemned Pings, and two Ursa Majors. The last stage features infinite Babas, 8 Wild Doges, 6 Moves, 3 Raging Gories, 1 Heavenly Rajakhan, 1 Dark Emperor Nyandam, and a Behemoth Slepnir. At 75% base health, there is also 2 Wild Doges and 2 Raging Gories. Beating this stage gives you the new Egg Unit discussed earlier. The Wanwan's Wrath stage has the restriction of 10 units as well as not being able to use Ubers or Legend Rares. The Revenge stage features Wanwan, 3 Gobbles, 3 Zappies, 5 Pigeon Disables, and 5 Coffin Zoges. Beating this stage grants Rugby Cat's true form. There are no restrictions in this stage. There's also a new set of stages that feature the Lil Cats and have the same schedule as the Lil Cat Awakening stages. These stages allow you to raise the level cap of Lil Cats by 5 up to a new cap of plus 60, allowing you to get level 110 Lil Cats. You also can only use special and rare units in these stages. The first stage features infinite trolley bloggers, 20 crocos, Lil Mohawk, infinite BB bunnies, 3 Dogs Huns, 7 Lil Island Cats, and 1 Lil King Dragon. The next stage features 4 Heavenly Hippos, 33 Lil Doges, 1 Lil Flying Cat, 8 Lil Lion Cats, and 2 Great Angel Chibanels. Stage 3 features 1 Condemned Ping, 3 Aku Doges, and a Lil Macho Legs. On base hit, there is also Lil Jamira, 10 Aku Doges, 8 Lil Macho Leg Cats, 2 Condemned Pings, and 7 Sinner Snages. The final stage features 1 Lil Eraser, Infinite BB Bunnies, 3 Old Horns, 8 Lil Bum Buns, 1 Lil Dark Cat, and 3 Owl Bros. The new Cerberus Kids gauntlet for the first 10 stages features 7 Cerberus Kids, 7 Those Guys, and Infinite Aku Doges. On base hit, there's also 2 Great Angel Chiba Nails, 2 Lil Bum Buns, 1 Angelic Slepnir, 20 Cerberus Kids, and 20 Those Guys, along with the Colossus Cerberus Kids as well. From stages 11 to 20, this changes to 6 Relic Doges, 4 Wild Doges, 8 Mistress Celebutals, 3 General Gregories, an infinite amount of Trolley Bloggers and Cerberus Kids, along with Johnny Leon and Midnight D. We also can't forget about the Colossus Cerberus Kids. The last set of stages we have to cover is the Eggy Cat Awakened stages. For the first stage, we have 13 Cerberus Kids and 5 Aku Doges. On base hit, we also have 4 Aku Gories, an unlimited amount of Aku Doges, as well as Eggy's true form. The second stage contains 9 Gabriels and 3 Heavenly Hippos. On base hit, there's an infinite amount of Gabriels, 3 Angelic Gories, 1 Angelic Slepnir, and Awakened Eggy. The last major thing in this update is new base materials. 
These are being dubbed as Z materials, and you can either acquire them from Zero Legend stages or take five of a material, such as bricks and an engineer to make one. It takes an engineer one hour to forge a Z material. These Z materials are used to upgrade the base itself and the decorations. The base gives enemy trait resistance and the decoration upgrade gives an ability resistance. These can go up to 15% resistance at level 20. The slow beam base gives floating resist and the decoration gives slow resist. Iron wall gives black resist with wave resist. Thunderbolt gives angel resist and freeze resist. Water blast gives red resist and surge resist. Holy blast gives zombie resist and weaken resist. Breaker blast gives alien resist and toxic resist. Blast is the cursed blast that gives relic resist and cursed resist. We also have extra miscellaneous stuff such as new user rank rewards. User rank 19,400 gives 5 Cadman Cs, 19,500 gives 5 Legend Cat's Eyes, and 19,600 gives 5 Special Cat's Eyes. Gamatoto's new max level is level 130. The last thing to cover in this new update is that we now have a new sauna as played in Zero Legend stages. If I had to give my thoughts about this update, I would say that this is a pretty crazy update, from the fact that Legend Rares are now confirmed to be getting true forms at some point in the future, to the fact that Advent enemies are showing up in regular story subchapters. This is definitely a much bigger update than last time. Now I want to ask you all, what are your thoughts on this update? Let me know in the comments down below and while you're down there, make sure to leave a like and check to see if you're subscribed yet because if you aren't, I'd say hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day.